Hi, this is Shadi. The Gracie family often made claims that their discipline can beat almost any discipline that can come in contact with. So I do believe the term Occam's razor apply to their methodology. It is quite simple, but simple doesn't mean banal and it doesn't mean easy at the same time. So we often confuse the term simple with banal or uh, the lack of difficulty, but that's not the case. I do believe they have a little trajectory that they follow and it works almost every time because it is fundamental, it is technical, and at the same time it relies heavily on human psycholo psychology when it comes to fear and being uh, stuck. You see, whether it is Hickson in MMA or Hoyce or their challenges, the path can be seen being repeated. You often see them getting close on the ground and then strangling someone. Now, how do they actually follow this? There is a very small formula. So their takedown repertoire, as we know, is not big at all. So getting close, a good clinch, their takedown of choice is usually ko soto gake that you see here and then strikes to the face after mounting will cause sheer panic and anxiety to the one being mounted. The less ground experience, the worse it's going to be and their only option is to usually shy away, turn away and from there a few strikes to the head will get the neck exposed and that's where they apply their strangle now if they don't turn there is another thing they do we'll get to it so like i said if you look at a lot of gracie tutorials especially the one made by horion a few decades ago before the ufc even you can see applying this takedown on hoist the first ufc champion and i gotta say it's a very effective takedown not too much technical expertise is required and it is good to go from a good clinch so the fact that they chose this is quite intelligent and it's fundamental techniques that will take you to the best place now when it comes to ufc early ufc days hoist often opted for this one also the moro tegari reaping the legs to Towards him, he would often flinch with a kick to the knee, followed by this one. But I would say the takedown of choice was usually Kosotogake. You see here Hickson performing it again. Now here, it's a much higher level than those old karate challenge that we saw, but still the same methodology still being applied. Once they turn their back, you try to get the hooks in so you can flatten them as much as possible. Here you see the same throw being uh, applied and then now if they don't turn or they don't turn sufficiently we can of course apply an arm lock hence the expression Hickson by armbar was born and uh, but usually it is the same thing now this thing where you strike someone to the head repeatedly as they are on the ground they tend to turn away you will see it from the inexperienced street thugs uh, where you saw the Gracie breakdown do it up until something like the UFC with Nate Diaz and Conor McGregor. So human psychology can be the same experienced fighter or not when you are under a lot of stress, anxiety, and just knowing you're, there's no way to escape. Sometimes your body takes over and all your techniques can unfortunately <laughs> go out the window. So the Gracie formula is quite simple yet quite effective if you have practiced this quite enough over a number of years not even and you get into a fight you can more most likely be somewhat successful if not the dominant one uh, of course but it all starts with closing the distance and a proper takedown a lot of people just start from the knees and i get it for safety reasons with others but you still have to train your takedowns. It's part of the grappling. The, the choice of you're either on the ground or standing up 
I don't believe in that. It's all one system. It's all one art. And here you see, of course, the uh, rear naked choke and it can be caught from anywhere. So if you have anything to add, let me know down below. This was Shadi. Thank you for listening.